Welcome to the Daily Mass from St. Mary's Parish in Barrie, Ontario, for Friday, January the 15th, the Friday in the first week of Ordinary Time. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. We offer this Mass for Jane Rajalingam. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Beloved, while the promise of entering God's rest is still open. Let us take care that none of you should seem to have failed to reach it. For indeed, the good news came to us, just as to them. But the message they heard did not benefit them, because they were not united by faith with those who listened. For we who have believed enter that rest, just as God has said, as in my anger I swore, they shall not enter my rest, though his works were finished at the foundations of this world. For in one place it speaks about the seventh day as follows, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in this place it says, they shall not enter my rest. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest so that no one may fall through such disobedience as theirs. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord gave them to 
the next generation the glories of the Lord and his might. The Lord gave them bread, bread from heaven. He commanded that the clouds above and opened the gates of hell. He rained down manna for their food and gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread, bread from heaven. Mere mortals ate the food of angels. He sent them meat in abundance. He brought them to his holy land, to the mountain which his right hand had won. The Lord gave them bread, bread from heaven. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. A great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many gathered around the door that the, there was no longer room for them, not even in front of the door, and he was speaking the word to them. Some, then some people came, bringing to him a man who was paralyzed, carried by four of them. When they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And after having dug through it, they let down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the man who was paralyzed, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, questioning in their hearts, Why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once, Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves. And he said to them, Why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to the one who was paralyzed, Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, Stand up, Take your mat and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, stand up, take your mat, and go to your home. And the man stood up and immediately took the mat and went out before all of them so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this before. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Who can forgive sins? Well, of course, God can forgive sins. God does forgive sins. And Jesus is the Son of God. 
But there's also one who can forgive, the one who is affected by the sin. When someone sins against me or uh, you know, offends me, I can forgive them. So the one who is affected by the sin can forgive. And so Jesus, as God, has been affected by sin and, and is then able to forgive sin. But it's interesting to me that it's, it's not the faith or the asking of the paralytic that leads to this healing, but it is of those who bring the man to Jesus. It is those who bring him to Jesus that whose faith is recognized. Who do you bring to Jesus? Who by your life, your joy, your love, your faith, who do you bring to Jesus? The words of Jesus are efficacious. They're effective in both forgiveness and in healing the man so that he can get up and walk and take his mat. Here at the table of God's word and sacrament, Jesus' words are efficacious, both in healing and in forgiveness for us, so that we can be strengthened to bring others to Jesus. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right 
that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, <coughs> holy, holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are, are full of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing Alleluia. Glad my soul, for I have seen the glory. 